Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not a Lola, you need to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and also click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Number one, in the description bar, if you're not seeing a join now button beside the subscribe, but subscribe button, make sure you click the link to subscribe to the chatterbox. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join and it is $1.99 a month to join. If you cannot join, that's fine. I call this the gym pop. Stay right here because free videos happen all the time right here. And today I'm going to do a blanket reveal. And this blanket reveal is of a baby. And you guys can see the bottle. So I'm sure you can tell that it is going to be a boy. And this baby, I was a little reluctant about sharing. But I'm an oversharer. And I can't help but share with you guys. I was so excited about this baby. Very different baby very very different baby for me um and um so this baby is not just a normal usual baby for me um but you know keep in mind that this is a baby that's made specific to my taste and so i hope that you guys love him as much as i do i have not named him i have not slept in the last couple days and so I've been back and forth with names. Um, so I don't, I'm not sure on the name just yet, but we'll do a name reveal later. Um, but in the meantime, I really want to go ahead and show him to you guys. So without further ado, oh gosh, <laughs> I'm like so nervous. Um, not always am I nervous to share with you guys, but you know you guys are kind of judgy. And so, um, so here we go. And this baby is for my personal collection. So a lot of times, um, I end up letting babies go. Oh, I thought it was something on the banking. Um, so let's just be a little revealing so as you can see it is alex by claire teller dolls now which alex it is <laughs> is going to be revealed very quickly here so the little feet <laughs> I'm not gonna do the whole, you know, da 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 da. Let me see what you guys can see. <laughs> the lighting is horrible because it's very like gloomy outside and it's very early. So um, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram and I'll post some pictures of him maybe <laughs> later. <laughs> I'm hoping that I can go to sleep at some point. <laughs> so. And. Guys ready? Tummy plate. He is a partial kit. Um, like I said. He is sculpted by Claire Teller. Dolls and. You know, of course, poured by Claire Teller Dolls. He is a partial silicone baby, meaning that underneath this belly plate is cloth. But I love how soft and squishy he feels with his plate on. These are little feet. <laughs> so, he is very different for me. At least for me to paint. So I painted this guy. He is still kind of a work in progress. But. He's done. It's, he's ready. He's, he's, he's my baby now. And he is wearing his. Miss Serenity Smith baby's t-shirt. That's embroidered. And made by Jenny Lennox. And guys if you buy from her. Make sure you let her know that I sent you guys. She's on Facebook. It's Janie. Linux, but um, oh my gosh, look at this. 
Oh, the face is the problem. It's not a problem. I mean, the face is the part. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this over because I'm sure he's like not breathing under there good. So that, there he is. <laughs> I'm going to put this away. And so there's my little guy. If you guys are in the chat box and you guys are following the storyline on this little guy, um, it appears that he did have a little bit of reaction to the breast milk. Um, so he, he does have a little bit of baby acne going on, but it is fine. So it's just, um, that's him. So, what do you guys think? <laughs> oh, let me see if I can zoom in a little. Like I said, he has a little baby acne. But he is somewhat pretty much peaches and cream. He has, the camera is not going to probably show it all up, but he does have some veining and stuff like that. But he's he's very, very, very baby. His and I, I wanted his face to be very, very newborn-y. I just love this little guy. He actually slept in my bed last night. <laughs> Which I haven't did that in a long time. Because I normally don't lay the babies in my bed. But he had a... He was on his separate blanket and everything. But... So... Let me see what you guys see. Sometimes it's, it's hard for me to see what you guys can see. So yeah, so like I said, he's partial <laughs> and he does have a tummy plate and these are his hands. <laughs> Look at him. I love, one thing that I've already noticed that I love about him is that he takes his thumb like so easy. Like you don't even have to like push it in with your finger. He will just kind of take it. Like, you don't have to, you know how you normally have to really mash it in. To, normally, if I wasn't on video, mama, and make a liar out of you, I would just take it. But, yeah. So, anyway. So, he, he will take his little binky. But, like I said, these are his little hands. And he has a tongue. And he has his gums. And his uvula. And... I did paint inside there. And I, like I said, he takes a pacifier because his mouth is so open. He takes a pacifier it's so easy. I love this baby. I was really, like I said, on the fence at first. And I'm so glad that I got him because I really love him. Like, really, really love him. I love the way that his hands pose. You can do so much with his little hands. So, and, um, I was looking at some of my grandbaby pictures and, um, the other day and I was looking at how her ears are and she has the tiniest little ears and she, she's such a, I don't know, like she's, she's like so bubbly and she, so the first thing you do is look at her face, but I never really noticed how small her ears are. And I was like laughing because I'm like, oh my God, his ears are kind of similar to my grandbaby. And even with the shape of them, it's kind of similar. But um, he doesn't look like her though. But so I just thought I would share him with you guys. Um, I actually like him without a pacifier. Well, I like him with both, but I, I do love him. And this is him with this bottle. I don't have any KY or anything on it, so, but that's him with his bottle, so he takes his bottle really easy as well. I did root his eyelashes, um, but I have not rooted his hair yet, and I won't be able to do that until I get a little bit further along with my, the prototype and the, um, the custom that I'm working on, and then I'll start rooting him at night. And painting during the day with the um, while I'm painting uh, because you know the cure time is so long and I can you know root oh I can root I didn't notice that um, 
and that's the thing like his he's his hands are so d dainty and everything but they're still very durable and and um stable so i don't feel like i have to worry about them you know breaking or anything <laughs> i don't know but yeah so and he's i was i know somebody had mentioned like do they asked do you be afraid that the head is will be too heavy on a cloth body but it's the funniest thing because he actually um his head actually goes perfect with his body and you do have to support like his his head but it doesn't feel like it's overly heavy or anything look at him <laughs> so yeah and i love how his you know like his neck is because it, it allows him to still look so much like a full body um i'm not gonna change his clothes or anything this video because i don't even know what i'm gonna put him on he doesn't even have a first outfit out right now um but yeah so yeah he's he's just a real cuddle bug and i love the way his um his arms move with the uh, rings on those are really nice the way that um claire did the rings so when you get the kit the kit is blank and it has the rings on it already which is really nice the um and so it helps it turn on the cloth body really well and so i really like that because it really helps you be able to turn them without feeling like you're you know gonna tear something or something like that but the arms really rotate really nice which i like that because i pose my babies a lot i haven't weighed him yet to see how much he weighs but you guys know me i know he he's probably six pounds he may be he's probably he's probably i'm i'm gonna guess six pounds guys guess what how about this you guys guess how much he weighs i'll put him on the scale later and let you guys know but i'm thinking he is probably because I know I put at least two pounds inside of him and I know his head has to carry quite a bit of weight. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking he's six pounds, but he's a good size and he's very, like I say, he's a very newborn size and his little legs bend up and all that. Um, you guys want to see him on his, on his back. I, I haven't really did much posing with him so I don't know like how he will do and the thing about the cloth is you have to you can mold it so that you well well so that you can get it to you know shape the way you want it now it's like looking like he's laying his head in the pillow but he's not there we go. Come on. You want your dummy? Okay. There we go. So that's him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Such a love bug. So yeah, so when he gets his little hair, he's going to be really cute. I've already picked out the hairstyle. I've already got his hair that I'm going to use for him and everything. I just haven't, I'm just not going to, I can't do it right now. I got to get as much as I wanted to, but then I was like, well, this will give me time to enjoy him and see what size he looks best in and all that stuff while I, um, paint the other babies and then I can get to rooting him and I'll be so happy. <laughs> I'll be so happy. Oh my goodness. So yeah. So that is him. I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. I hope that you guys have enjoyed a little peek of him. I'm just, I'm so happy. Like, really quick. Um, only got a few seconds. But painting the partial was so different this time around. And I was really happy and really pleased that actually, I actually think, now I do think I actually like painting the partials <laughs> more because you can kind of do them faster 
but I mean you do have to be extremely careful but I do love that I don't have to worry about the streaks as much like you know blending because he's very smooth all the way around but like I said follow me on Instagram and I'll I'll pro I promise to share a few pictures of him so you guys can get a better idea of him but yeah but that's him all right guys let me know if you guys can guess his weight um if you have any name suggestions i'm open to that as well so drop that down in the comment section below and we will talk to you guys later thanks guys for watching again this is um the alex sculpt by claire teller and painted by myself and soon to be rooted by myself <laughs> so see you guys later bye bye